Hey folks, check out my new glasses. <laughs> Let's talk about composite animation. The big idea is that you're going to assemble multiple elements into one animated clip. Here are a few suggestions of sources that you can use to build your animation. And do me a favor and comment below if you have any suggestions or if there are any links to other animations that you think are awesome composites. Alright, for my animation, I filmed a video with my phone and I exported it two times. Can you spot the difference between 12 and 24 frames per second? Now, here are some considerations to help you determine the frame rate of your live footage. I like 12 FPS because it's less work, less drawing, um, but I think you should choose what's best for you and your work. This next segment shows how to use Photoshop to export an image sequence. I like doing this because it helps control the frame rate and it makes the animation software run really smoothly. I like to name each file frame and I add a subfolder with the frame rate listed on it. Just helps me out. Also, HD sizing 12 FPS, that works well for my application and here's a little screen capture that might help you. So now that I've got my folder of images, I'll go into Harmony, do File, Import Images. I'll use those naming conventions to identify my folder, and then I'll just rename the layers, adjust the import options, and adjust the sizing so it fits into Harmony. The image at the right shows the settings that worked for me. Hopefully they work for you. Also, don't forget to double your exposures. Since you brought in work at 12 frames per second, you want to double them so it's like you're animating on twos. Ooh, home stretch. Here is some footage showing the, the visual effects painting that I did on twos with like gradients and cross hatching. And I just did it as an overlay on top of my uh, original footage. And here's a quick motion test so I can see that if the movement and the composition are right. And I also did a rigged animation with some deformers and some pegs. So let's break all of this down. All right, so before we end this video, what I want to do is to show you how I created this final reveal of animation. Here are my original frames of footage that are brought in. And notice that I put them on twos and they're set up at 12 frames a second. I put a peg on them to stretch them out. I also created a little ghost, so let me hide these guys. I created a ghost and I put a couple deformers on the ghost and I also put a peg on it so I could create some kind of animation. You could see the peg shrunk it, so now you could see the overall movement. I did this on a separate pass of animation. Um, I also created a gradient in Photoshop layer and you could see that this glow is over here. Uh, let me go get my frames of animation so you can kind of see. Um, that's what the that's what the gradient looks like as I went and drew them in as a glowing apple. I have a bounce light layer and that's the that's the area on top of my jacket so I went in on twos and I animated that and I just kind of brushed them and put them over the actual um, film footage. I have an additional glow layer so I'm not sure let me turn off the color card and the animation so you can kind of see there's like this hazy looking color what I did was I made that as one frame and then I attached a peg to it and you could see when I turn on the peg um, I just animated the height and the location and the rotation and all it does all it does is just follow the uh, apple and I just went in every five or six frames and gave it a new location. So when we have all of those things together, you get this nice composite animation. So let's have a quick look at the reveal. All right, this turned out good. I am pleased with the way this looks. Uh, my friends, do me a favor, go give this a try. I hope you realize there is no one way to do this. Um, there are a billion ways you can create something and, you know, hopefully you post it up and you send me a link. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.